Double Dragon 2, The Revenge. Full power for your NES. Nine incredible missions. Two player simultaneous action. Double Dragon 2 from Acclaim, the best action game ever. Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, 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 I want to do my top 10 favorite Double Dragon games of all time. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, if you did not know, all my beat em up fans out there, some of your favorite beat em ups of all time Street Charades, Final Fight, you know, uh, Turtles, all these new beat em ups you've got nowadays. If it wasn't for this game right here, Double Dragon, the arcade game which came out, we would not have those beat em ups. This is the original beat em up. Now, they had some beat ups before then, you know, Kung Fu and some other different type of beat em ups, but the one that really set the mold was Double Dragon. That's why when you mention beat em ups, if you don't have Double Dragon in your list, you are smoking crack, my friend. <laughs> Quote, shout out to my brother, John. He used to say that you are on crack, my friend. You really are on crack if you don't mention Double Dragon. Because it wasn't for Double Dragon, ladies and gentlemen, we would not have the beat em ups we have today. Because Double Dragon hit the mold when it hit, came to the beat em ups. They got the formula just right and took it to another level, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I call it the grandfather of all beat em ups. So without further ado, let's get into this, ladies and gentlemen. 10. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number 10 has to be Double Dragon the arcade game. Wow. I never will forget. I first played Double Dragon the arcade game when I was at the, the mall at Atlantis Castle, one of them, Atlantis Castle or Diamond Gym. I can't remember what it was. Mall where I'm from. And I'm like, man, that's Double Dragon. And oh, Billy, Jimmy, you know, one blue, one red, you go through the whole thing and beat the game, and it was just a fun game, ladies and gentlemen. I remember playing that arcade, and I also remember playing it on first one on Sega Genesis. And to me, it was like arcade perfect, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, go through the game, and you got, oh, boo, boo, different villains on there, beat them up at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Double Dragon was. If you don't know about Double Dragon, you must be living on a rock somewhere. If you don't know the storyline, it's Billy and Jimmy Lee. It shows you the storyline at the very beginning of the game. Billy and Jimmy Lee sitting up there, chilling in the garage. Mary, Mary is sitting, chilling outside there. They punch her in the gut. Take her, and you just got to go and go fight your way through a whole bunch of punks and get her back, ladies and gentlemen. That's simple. If it weren't broke, they didn't try to fix it. It was simple. Beat em ups at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Double Dragon, the arcade game, always hold a special place in my heart. That's just, like I said, Double Dragon is the grandfather of beat em ups. You wouldn't have all these other beat em ups if it wasn't for Double Dragon. So, coming in at number 10 is Double Dragon, the arcade game. Moving right along, moving right along. Alright ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number 9 has to be Double Dragon 2, the arcade game. Wow, now Double Dragon 2, the arcade game was great. They took what worked on Double Dragon and added to it. If it wasn't broke, they didn't try to fix it. They added to it ladies and gentlemen. If it wasn't broke, they didn't try to fix it. They added to it. It just added to what made the first game so great. First game, you know, it had a little slowdown every now and then. You know, I don't, 
I don't look at technical stuff. When it's, when I'm having fun, I just love to have fun on the game. All that graphical crap, all you graphics here, y'all can have at that. Frame rate crap, have at that. If I'm having fun at the game, I don't care if it's slow down. I do the slow down to keep it moving. But Double Dragon 2 starts off, ladies and gentlemen, with Marion out there. And they just gun her down. I mean, they just straight shoot her down. And spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. You have a bad ending on this game. I, I, I did not like Double Dragon 2, the arcade game, for that bad ending you have. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, you can't bring her back to life. You can't bring her back to life. On the arcade game, you can't. And it's just a bad ending. You go through all that, you fight and you get to it, and all the show is a picture of you, Billy, Jimmy, and Mary are sitting up there, and then you see a little teardrop, and then that's the end of the game. You go through all that hell, and you still don't get the, no satisfaction for it. But despite that, it's a great game. Like I said, if you like the mechanics of Double Dragon 1, you love the mechanics of Double Dragon 2, because it just adds a little bit more to it. The same gameplay. Uh, just add a little bit more special move. Now they can do the spinning kick. Yeah, I could never did quite learn how to do spinning kick on the, the arcade version. But you can do the spinning kick. You could, It's a whole different kind of control scheme. You know, they probably caught a lot of flack for that, the control scheme. But they, they changed it from the first one. But they just added more moves to the game. Like more karate moves, more stages, more karate moves, and more four ways to play the game. Still two-player co-op. They didn't take that away. Still two-player co-op, but they just added more moves to it, man. And pretty good. I like it. I have no problem with Double Dragon 2, the revenge on uh, the arcade game. Uh, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, other than the ending, this is a great game. Arcade beat em ups as it finds. So, ladies and gentlemen, coming in, at number nine of my top 10 favorite Double Dragon games of all time has to be Double Dragon 2, The Revenge Arcade Game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're moving right along. Moving right along. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number eight has to be Battle Toads Double Dragon. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, technically, the gameplay to this is more of a Battle Toads game, but it has Double Dragon in the title, so I'm going to use it as a Double Dragon game. <laughs> it's my top 10. You leave your top 10 down in the conversation. Let me stop being silly. But yeah, <laughs> it's my top 10. Battle Toads Double Dragon is an excellent game, ladies and gentlemen. I liked it, Battle Toads, growing up. Never could have beat it, because Battle Toads is a hard, hard game. Boy, that game. That game will test you. And when they brought Battle Toads and Double Dragons together, man, it was a, the ultimate dream team coming together. Because you, you combine Double Dragons with the Battle Toads. And I'm thinking, maybe, man, maybe since they put Double Dragon in here, it made the game a little bit more easier. Nope. <laughs> this game is just as hard as Battle Tool. I still haven't beat this game. I ain't gonna lie to you. I haven't beat this game at all. I want to one day. I want to because I don't try that at several times. I never could beat it because it's that hard. But still, that don't take away from me liking the game. Except because I ain't beat it. I ain't finna use those arbitrary rules, but... If you didn't know, Battle Toad Double Dragon uh, takes place in a fictional universe where uh, the Shadow Queen, that's the boss of, uh, that's who uh, Battle Toads fight all the time, and she teams up with Shadow Master, Shadow Boss, forgot his name, and they team up to plot against you to try to take you out, and you got to stop them from their evil plan, and you know, blah, 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 go through the stages, beat the bad guy, 
and just good, clean, beat them up fun. And like I said, if you play the Double Dragon games, don't go into this game thinking it's going to play like Double Dragon. It's not. <laughs> it's going to play just like a Battletoad game, but they implemented the Double Dragon, the Lee Brothers, in there perfectly. They still got their little moves, but they ain't got the spinning kicks and all that stuff no more. They got like more of like Battletoad moves, but they implemented them in there perfectly. The cats at Rare, before Microsoft bought them, uh, they was off the chain. They used to make great games back in the day. Hard games, <laughs> but they made great games back in the day. But Battletoad Double Dragon came out on Nintendo, uh, Super NES, and Sega Genesis. And it was all great ports. I think, uh, Quote me, don't quote me if I'm wrong. Don't get mad at me if I'm wrong. Um, Y'all can hit me out in, in the comment section. I've heard from different uh, YouTubers that each version has different things in it. Like the Nintendo version had everything in it. I think the Sega uh, Super the version was missing some stages. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm hearing from YouTubers, but I have to do my research. I'm not for sure. But ladies and gentlemen, I digress. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number eight has to be Battletoads Double Dragon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're winding this thing down. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number seven has to be Double Dragon Neo Geo slash arcade version. Wow. Y'all like Neo Geo slash arcade version? If you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, a lot, a lot of people might not know this. But people do know this. You know they made a Double Dragon movie. Garbage. That movie was horrible. I watched it because I'm a Double Dragon fan. Huge Double Dragon fan. I had to watch it. You know, me being a Double Dragon fan, if I didn't watch it, something would have been wrong with me. But I watched it and I was like, ugh. Only real redeeming feature from that movie is uh, uh, Lissa Manalo, Manalo, whatever her name, her booty. She had a fat booty back then, boy. She was thick. And she was thick old gug, boy. That was a thick old gug. <laughs> that girl was thick in that movie. And that's the redeeming feature of that movie. I ain't gonna lie to you. Other than that, eh, it's one you won't watch again. But other than that, it's, uh, that's all I'm gonna say about that. But if you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, in Japan, they came out in America too. They made a fine game off that. Based off the movie, they made a fine game off that. And it was pretty good. It had the Lee Brothers in it and they brought... Some different characters that wasn't in the movies, thank God. They had Marion in there. Uh, you know, she pretty decent, though. A ninja. Uh, other different characters that wasn't in the movie. But, boy, boy, he in there. And they brought all them into the game. And it was actually a decent made fight game. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing. I haven't sat down and beat it yet. I need to. I played a lot. A bunch of times, you know, just testing it out and playing it with different people. It, it's a pretty decent game. That's why I'm gonna put it up on my top, my top ten, number seven, because it's a pretty decent game. It catches a lot of flack because it's based off the movie, and a lot of people like when they saw the movie and they saw they making a game off of it. They're like, I ain't trying to touch that game with a ten foot pole. But ladies and gentlemen, you put past the biases, put past your pit pitch forks from what the game movie was. I know the movie up. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm a Double Dragon fan. And I can admit that, that the movie up. If you put look past that and play the fighting game, the fighting game is actually pretty good. You know what I'm saying? It's not Street Fighter. It's not Killistine. It's its own flavor. And it's pretty decent, ladies and gentlemen. Go check it out. If you got MAME or uh, I think you can download the PS, the PlayStation version on the PlayStation store. PS3 store. Yeah. You can download it. Go there. I went and actually downloaded on the PlayStation Store, and I got it on Main, and I got it on Neo Geo. Uh, yeah, shout out to my homie Ben. But I got it on Main, and I got it on PlayStation. So go download if you can. It shouldn't be that much, about six dollars. But if you can't download it, emulate it on Main. You know what I'm saying? Do what you need to do. But play this game, ladies. It was actually pretty fun. Hope you're enjoying the gameplay footage in the background, but it's actually a pretty fun fighting game. I enjoyed it. So, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number seven is Double Dragon. We're going to call it Double Dragon Neo Geo. How about that? Moving right along. Moving right along. Yeah. Oh, 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 o
All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number six has to be Double Dragon Neon. Wow. Now, this game, ladies and gentlemen, first came out on the PS3 and 360. You know, and it was Dizzle the Only. I didn't like that. I couldn't stand it. I wish they would have made a physical version of it. I think technically they did. They made a physical version on the Switch. But I wish they made a physical version back then. But anyways, I digress. When Cats at Wave 4 got together and put this awesome, awesome Double Dragon game together. It was tight. If it wasn't broke, they didn't try to fix it. What was so tight about Double Dragon the other ladies and gentlemen, you know, they got the basic premise. Uh, Marion gets kidnapped and you got to go save her, of course. And the, the boss, the main boss of this game, Skullamania, he is hilarious. He will have you rolling. Tells him, all I wanted was a date. You can't hit me. I mean, he is hilarious. He will have you rolling. And when you beat the game, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. When you knock him off the cliff, uh, he sings the whole way down. <laughs> it's crazy, ladies and gentlemen. And Jimmy, too. Oh, that game has me rolling. And it screams 80s. It screams 80s. And then, y'all, if you, you do remember, uh, I'll get to that in a little bit. I ain't gonna spoil it. Let me talk about that. But, uh, that game is freaking amazing. I remember when it first came out, ladies and gentlemen. I did a playthrough on it on my old channel. And I enjoyed it. I played it by myself. You know, I, know, I have friends, but they, they, they couldn't get to them at the time. And I enjoyed playing that game. I played through it by myself. And I played the whole playthrough. It was it was fun. It was fun. It was Double Dragon at its finest. And it added all different type of elements to it. And this Double Dragon system had a way you can level up. You didn't have... You couldn't get all your moves at one time. You know, like all the older games, Double Dragon 2 and 3, all that stuff, you had all your moves at one time. This one, you had to unlock them. You had to play through the game, get meteorites, and buy certain, to get the points up to buy it. You could buy the spin kick, you could buy the a dragon move, you can buy all different types of moves. It has some RPG elements in it. That's how fun Double Dragon Neon was. And don't even get me started with the soundtrack. The soundtrack is a Amazing. God, that soundtrack is awesome. Yeah, that's one of the best soundtracks I ever heard in my, my life. Shout out to the guy that did, I think, Jack Kaufman, I think that's his name. That soundtrack was amazing. Oh, God. And he was giving the soundtrack away for free at the time when it first came out. I can't remember. But, man, that soundtrack was so major. Couldn't be any clearer upon my magic mirror I can see. Your true nature, follow me, follow me. Oh, that soundtrack was good. We're singing our heart out, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that soundtrack was amazing. Oh, I still got copies of it somewhere around here. But, man, if y'all can, try to check out that soundtrack of Double Dragon Me and Man. They remixed the old tunes into the new tunes, and it just, every stage on there have you rocking. Oh, that soundtrack of Double Dragon Me and that's why it's so far up here on the list, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, number six, because it's, it's just the soundtrack of have you, have you rocking in your seat while you're playing. That's how tight that soundtrack is. And don't forget, mention this gameplay. and Oh, man, they did a great job on this Double Dragon. I love it. Love Double Dragon, the young ladies and gentlemen. That's why it's number six on this top ten Double Dragon list. So, ladies and gentlemen, coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number six is Double Dragon. Dragon Neon. High five me! Hey bro, up top!
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we wind this thing down. Coming, ladies, ah, tongue time for a second. <laughs> Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number five has to be. What's number five going to be, ladies and gentlemen? Five. Time, number five, trying to stay alive. It's Double Dragon 4. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when this Double Dragon 4 came out, I was like, Double Dragon 4? Didn't they make a four like Super Double Dragon? Apparently, that's not Double Dragon 4. In the timeline, that's not Double Dragon 4, apparently. It is Double Dragon 4 when it first came out. Now, when it first came out, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people was hating on Double Dragon 4, and I was, uh, I had a channel back then, I should have spoke up more about it, it was the first thought, the graphics, they don't look good, it's like Double Dragon 2 with a makeover, the graphics don't look good. Shut up! Why does it matter? That didn't bother me at all. I love the Double Dragon 2 style. Yeah, like Double Dragon 2 had a baby and it made a sequel to it. So apparently this takes place directly after Double Dragon 2 or 3. I can't remember. 2 and 3. It takes the race chronologically. It, it takes the right place. And you know, the storyline, it actually there. It tells you what's going on, what's going on with Marion, what's going on with Billy, what's going on with Jimmy. And just beat him up at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. And if you didn't know, for Double Dragon 4, the actual last bosses are women. It's two, you know, uh, Kung Fu or whatever, master women. And you got to fight them at the end. And on this game, ladies and gentlemen, you can unlock different characters to fight in a little gauntlet thing that you can fight in. You're going to unlock uh, the apparently the third lead brother. Oh, I forgot his name. I can't think of his name. It'll come back to me. I can't think of his name right now, though. But ladies and gentlemen, apparently there's a third Lee brother, and you gonna lock him and play him in Double Dragon 4 on the little tower mode. I didn't even know that, but man, this game is great. It's hard now. It's hard. It was at first it was uh PS4 only, then they eventually the ported it to the Switch, and it was like brand new game for $7.99, $8. They ain't charged me eight dollars, and folks was up there fussing and complaining. I'm like, are y'all serious? I will pay sixty, seventy, a hundred dollars for this game, cause I'm a huge Double Dragon fan, of course. But I'm like, why are you complaining? But eventually, they uh, they did make a physical version. They made a physical version for the Switch and the PS4. I was on uh, I can't remember. I was on eBay, and I was looking, you know, just browsing eBay like I normally do, and I saw one dude selling it for like sixty dollars, the physical version. I said, man. Let me go ahead and buy that. I'm a double dragon, man. I got, I got to get that. So I picked that up, and I was like, wow. Got me a physical version, even though I probably never opened that physical version because I got the digital version on my PlayStation. But, man, it's well worth the $8. Like I told y'all, I would pay $60, 70 80 for this game. That's how fun it is. I enjoyed it. I think it's like 10, 12 stages and nothing but clean, beat em up fun. Folks will complain about the graphics, Double Dragon 2 graphics. I don't mind. I'll pay for it. The gameplay there, and it was fun. I enjoyed it. I really, truly enjoyed Double Dragon 4. That's why it's so high up on my list on number 5. So, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number 5, trying to stay alive, <laughs> is Double Dragon 4. Ah! <laughs> Hold up, homie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got my little drop kick, cuz. Oh, look at my new move, y'all. Look at that spinning with the head. Yes. Oh, I like my new move. I like my new move. Jump. All right. Hey, cuz. You forgot about me, cuz. I ain't going over there. I'm waiting on you. I figured you would. That why you fell in the cliff. Ah! <laughs> All right, then the old school Nintendo here. Ah! Oh! Bobo Bobo! There he is! Oh, Bobo! Oh, man. I need some help. Hit him with that new move you got. There it is. Bam. Him just waiting up there, hey, cuz. Hmm. 
There you go. Cause I'm gone. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> excuse me. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number four and number three. This is going to throw a little loop at you. This ain't never been done before on my channel. It is Super Double Dragon and Return of the Double Dragon. Wow. Y'all are probably asking, so Kicks, it's basically the same game. You can't really do this. Technically, I can because they released as two separate games. Now, let me break this down to you. Super Double Dragon, ladies and gentlemen. Came out on Super Nintendo, one of my favorite Double Dragon games and Super Nintendo games of all time. It's number three. Now, when they brought it out over here, <clears throat> they did some little changes to it. Like the guy that made Super Double Dragon, I don't know his name. Y'all can you leave his name down in the comment section. He wanted to make much more with Super Double Dragon. He had to make some cuts. He wanted to make some cut scenes in his game. And he was ambitious, he wanted to make some cutscenes and he wanted to make it more of a storyline and he wanted to make it longer. Because when you play Super Double Dragon, it really ain't no storyline. You just fighting through all the stages, going through all the stages and you're enjoying good, clean, beat em up fun. And spoiler, spoiler, you kind of get a storyline at the end. It's kind of, but the way old dude wanted to do it, dude that created Super Double Dragon, he wanted to add cutscenes in it and make it more of a storyline of why you fight. And that's the story behind Super Dope Dragon. And shout out to uh, Hard, Hat, Hard Hat Gaming. He was talking about this on the channel. They made the legend, the legend of the Double Dragons, and it's pretty fun. And the guy that it's a PC guy that went and made this game, and he got he talked to the guy that actually made Super Dope Dragon back in the day, trying to get him to you know add his input into it. And pretty much the legend of Double Dragon. Dragons, if y'all want to check it out, I'll see if I can find it somewhere. Hey, it took me a minute to find it. Uh, it's what the guy that made Super Double Dragon originally wanted. This is what he wanted in the uh, Double Dragon game, and it's pretty tight. I'm playing it right now, I'm trying to get my PC to act like that right, and it, it's acting up, but so far, so good. I enjoy it. But I didn't really want to add that into it because that's just a remake and everything. But the Super Double Dragon, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome game, awesome game. Now let me get to Return of Double Dragon. Now people say this is technically not another Double Dragon game. Technically it is and technically it ain't. Let me explain. Return of Double Dragon was a... What's the name of them folks? Name? Ah, there we go, I found it. Now Return of Double Dragon, ladies and gentlemen, is a... Pretty much a cartridge that uh, Retrobit made and resold it to Super Nintendo owners. And you know, it came out that the this retro this double dragon cartridge was red, and my favorite color was the type. They said if you load it up into your Super Nintendo, it will light your Super Nintendo on fire. There was reports of people saying all that stuff, but it may have happened to them people. I'm not gonna doubt nobody, but it never happened to me, praise Jesus. It never happened to me. I put in my Super Nintendo and I loaded it up and it didn't bother my Super Nintendo. I put it in the retro bit. And I put in the Super Nintendo, and it worked in both consoles, so uh, I didn't have no problem with it. But this was supposed to be a re-release of the, you know, the hit classic Super Double Dragon. And what it is is pretty much the Japanese version of Super Double Dragon. Now let me explain. The Japanese version of Super Double Dragon was kind of different than the Super Double Dragon that we know and love. Uh, the Japanese version where the hit detection on the spin kick is more tighter. It's a little bit easier. They change the songs around. And there's an extra stage, like stage 10, well not stage 10, whatever stage that is, last ball stage. Before you get to him, you go through like an extra path before you go to him and beat him. Like on Super Double Dragon, you skip this part in Super Double Dragon. And in, uh, what's the name of this game? I'm tripping. And in, Return of the Double Dragons, you actually go through two extra levels before you get to the last boss on uh, Return of the Double Dragon, pretty much the Japanese version. So the difference between Super Double Dragon and Return of the Double Dragon is they switched the music around and I think they added an extra song 
on there that's in the Japanese version that's not in the, you know, North American version that we got. And they added two extra areas onto the last stage where pretty much making it a different game. You know how they do us America. They, they try to tone things down for us sometimes. But sometimes, you know, they uh, make stuff hard. But this time they made Super Double Dragon a little bit easier than Return of Double Dragon. Because I played both of them. I sat out and played both of them. Both are great games. I love them. Love playing through them. I, I probably will play through them again. But, uh, you know, we're making this. It's my top ten. So, number four is going to be Return of the Double Dragon. And number three is going to be Super Double Dragon. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever on my channel, we doing this. Yeah, we doing this. Coming in at number four is Return of the Double Dragon. And coming in at number three is Super Double Dragon. Moving right along. Moving right along. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to the last two. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number two is Double Dragon 3, NES version, not that arcade version, which is terrible. <laughs> Played the arcade version, that was horrible. Now, Double Dragon 3, NES, the Sacred Stones, I think that's what they call it, is famous for having the Bimmy and Jimmy Lee. Instead of Billy and Jimmy Lee, they have Bimmy and Jimmy Lee up there. <laughs> up there on the title screen when you play with two players and uh they made fun of this on double dragon neon this is what i was talking about earlier they made fun of this on double dragon neon two bosses that you fight is two big old clones of uh billy and jimmy and one of them they call it bimmy and jimmy jimmy and jimmy or something like that pretty much playing paying homage to double dragon 3 which was tighter them Man, Way Forward made an awesome game when they put made Double Dragon the uh, I was tired of them to give homage to Double Dragon 3 like that. But anyways, let me get to the point. Double Dragon 3, ladies and gentlemen, great game. Uh was very hard. This game is hard. It's in my top 10 hardest games of all time. If y'all wanna watch that, you can click the link in the description. Or you know, uh 
took the arc I card I probably have going up on a little bit. But this game is hard, but it is worth it. If you sit down and play it, you can beat it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I've never beat this game by myself. I had help. He's like uh, the other ones do, but Double Dragon 3 on Nintendo is actually a fun game. It has a good music, too. Dun, 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 dun. Stage 1. That stage 1 music is pretty, pretty epic. And I like I like Double Dragon 3, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great game. I, I put it I put it up there on my top 10 favorite Double Dragon games of all time. Double Dragon 3 is a great game, ladies and gentlemen. I highly recommend you play it, ladies and gentlemen, because you go go through the stage, start out. You can see on Double Dragon 3 you go all over the world. You know, on the other Double Dragon, you just stay in, I think, in Los Angeles, but this time you go from the USA, then you go to China, then you go to Japan, then you go to Italy, then you finally end up at Egypt. So you go all over the world with Double Dragon uh, 3, which is pretty tight. I enjoyed it. Good music, clean fun. It's hard now. I'm telling you, don't play Double Dragon 3 in the S that you're just going to walk through it. You're going to get your behind whooped. Double Dragon 3 will whoop you down. I'm trying to warn you before you get in there and play it. But uh, if you want to play this game in modern day consoles, they actually brought it back out, ladies and gentlemen. They made a Double Dragon uh, Kino Kun collection. It's out for the PS4 and Nintendo Switch. I think it's $40 because they give like 18 games, but I caught it on sale for 20 You catch it on sale. It'd be on sale all the time. So Not all the time because, you know, people love to try to take what you say and run with it. It'd be on sale a lot, but when you catch it on sale, go buy it, ladies and gentlemen, or you can buy it separately. I'm pretty sure they sell the game separately. And go check out Double Dragon 3, ladies and gentlemen. You might like it. It's hard now, like I said. I want to warn you on that. It's hard. <laughs> so come in, ladies and gentlemen, at number two on the top ten best Double Dragon games of all time. It's Double Dragon 3, Sacred Stones, NES. <laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, we're down to number one. In my opinion, the best Double Dragon game ever made out there. Number one on my list has to be Double Dragon 2. The Revenge. NES now. NES version. Wow. Now ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to try not to talk too much about Double Dragon 2 uh, NES version. Because I don't talk about it a whole lot on my top 10 and stuff, but didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, Double Dragon 2 is pretty much uh, Marion gets killed and the Double Dragon's got to get revenge. And this is the NES version, ladies and gentlemen. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Turn right now if you don't want to hear this. Part 2, when you beat the game on Part 2 on the NES version, you actually have a chance to bring Marion back to life. You save her and you bring her back to life. Although she did, in some type of way, you're able to bring her back to life. In the end of the Double Dragon 2. So Double Dragon 2 had a happy ending. And if you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, I already don't talk about this on other channel, on other videos. That uh, the way I beat the game, I kind of cheated to beat the game. I beat up Jimmy and took his life. And in order to see the real ending on this game, you didn't know you got to beat on Supreme Master. You can't beat it on uh, Warrior Mode. You got to be on Supreme Master. And either way, this game is real hard, ladies and gentlemen. It is, but. It's worth it. If you can beat the game, it's worth it. The ending was real tight. I enjoyed the ending. I felt like I did some beating Double Dragon 2. Real good, tight ending. And it, to me, it's the best Double Dragon game ever made. So far. So far, I say. Because they got a new one coming out called Double Dragon Guiding uh, something. I can't remember the name of the game. But I have a link in the description for that if y'all going to watch that trailer. Because I got I, 
I did a, a video on that, the trailer. The game supposed to be coming out sometime this week, and I, I Lord willing, I'm living to see. I'm planning on getting that game. I probably do unboxing all that stuff for you guys and play it on the channel so y'all can check it out. But so far, <laughs> they still making Double Dragon big game. Praise Jesus, I'm happy about that. Uh, Double Dragon 2 uh, NES version to me is the best Double Dragon game ever made so far. We don't know how Double Dragon Gaiden, I forgot the name, that's the name of the game, gonna do. We'll see when it comes out. But so far, to me, in my opinion, the best Double Dragon, two, Double Dragon game they made of all time is Double Dragon 2 NES version with the Revenge. Just overall clean mechanics, beat them up at its finest. You actually have motivation to go through the game because you know you don't see it you don't see it get shot down like in the arcade version but if you just watch it got that clean music it show you what's going on so you her getting shot and everything through like uh steel pictures and it's pretty tight ladies and gentlemen the cutscenes and the storyline is great I, I, I can go back right now and play it because that's how great the uh they did with uh Acclaim did with Double Dragon 2, uh, the NES version. It's awesome. Love it. To this day, I still go back and play it because that's how great of a game it is, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't going to sit up and lie to you and say I can beat it right now. <laughs> I haven't tried to beat it since uh, I used the Jimmy Code. I tried to beat it. Uh, that was a while ago, and I still couldn't beat it because <laughs> it's hard. That trap room, Lord, I mercy that, that game. Make you pull out some hairs, boy. Still hard. So, ladies and gentlemen, that about wraps it up for my top 10 best double dragon games of all time in my opinion leave comments below ladies and gentlemen of your top 10 best double dragon games of all time have i omitted one or two or you know y'all let me know down in the comment section i want to know let me know it's all my double dragon beat em up fans out there that's for you thank you guys and girls so much for watching double dragon 912 signing out peace out